right after rama ma'am have asked so many ask it's time to hear it from the man himself ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for our chief guest shri kt rama rao garu our honorable minister for municipal administration and urban development to kindly address the gathering thank you good evening firstly i apologize uh, for showing up almost half an hour late my my sincere regrets koronilu ramadevi garu koronilu jayesh ranjan garu tsic chairman gathery balamallu garu chandshekar garu dr jyoti garu narsimha reddy garu shiv shankar garu to all the dignitaries gathered here to all my friends from the media firstly i congratulate aleep on a great trajectory over the last uh, several decades i think the story of uh, how women entrepreneurship in hyderabad in andhra pradesh erstwhile andhra pradesh now telangana has unfolded is something that uh, you know you, you can certainly attribute a significant part of that to rama devi garu and her team my compliments to the entire team of aleep on this wonderful journey so far now today we have been invited to commemorate a new occasion to lay the foundation for the women entrepreneurs international technology and trade center i'm delighted that uh, more and more such initiatives which will bring inclusivity which will ensure that more and more entrepreneurs who are hesitant like rama devi garu said will become part of you know the process of uh, becoming an entrepreneur i've said this before uh, i'll say it again i don't think there has ever been a better time in india than now to be an entrepreneur because you have a situation now where governments across the country be it state or its center understand acknowledge the role of entrepreneurs not only do they acknowledge but they actually enable give you an impetus give you support to create enterprises to create wealth to create jobs because i think world over not just in india not just in telangana but world over the biggest challenge for any leader be it a chief minister or a prime minister or a governor or a president irrespective of what title you hold the biggest challenge today is employment creation is to ensure that the youth the most important resource for any nation the human capital is leveraged to the hilt the most important challenge that any nation especially a growing one like india can have is to ensure that the energies that can be unleashed by the power of the youth are channelized in the right direction now that is something i think uh, can only happen with private sector working together with the government because government alone can only do so much government alone can only absorb so much percentage of the youth if you look at any developed country in the world you would see that the private sector in fact thriving doing rather well contributing to the nation contributing to the world at large coming out with new ideas really pushing boundaries charting the uncharted the story of entrepreneurship is something in which you are only limited by imagination literally especially in a country like india if you think for a minute le- more than 50% of india today is less than the age of 27 india's median age is 27 we are a very young country in fact 65% of india is less than the age of 35 and this includes both men and women now this is possibly the youngest country on the planet and this is possibly the biggest resource we have at our disposal of course we have abundant water abundant land we have abundant mineral resources we have abundant other resources the most important resource we have of course is human capital now why do i say this you look at a country like japan japan hardly has 15% of land mass that is actually useful for inhabitation to live to do something to work etc etc and japan as most of you know is one of the biggest sufferers after world, uh, you know world war 2 the only nuclear bomb that ever exploded on this planet was in japan in 1940s in hiroshima and nagasaki now a country which has got only 15% of utilizable land 
a country which suffered nuclear attack a country which is prone to earthquakes severe earthquakes a country which is prone to tsunamis a country which has got a long coastline and very little natural resources has today become a force to reckon with it is the third largest economy after us and china and it is only 1/10th or in fact 1/12th of our size in terms of population so without natural resources with all these obstacles with everything stacked up against them what did the japanese have the only thing they had was the human intellect and human capital and you can also look at japan's neighbor south korea republic of korea again a fascinating story more than 90% of the land mass in south korea again is unutilizable again everything stacked up against them very little natural resources but today if you go home when you go home actually all of you please look around in your drawing room please look around in your bedroom please look around in your veranda your in your portico you will see so many korean and japanese products we'll see a sony tv we'll see a lg refrigerator we'll possibly have a hyundai a car or you know some other make you'll we'll probably have a toyota or a honda or a, you, you can go on there's so many things that these two countries have created between these two it's amazing to even think and contemplate because again these are asian countries not very far from us again culturally very very similar to india the kind of power that they have unleashed over the last few decades is something that's truly impressive and truly amazing and each and every time i've been to these two countries i've come back with mixed bag of emotions you feel sad for india you feel happy for them you know you you have to think you have to contemplate as to why and where we kind of lost out and not too far from us by the way across the himalayas on the other side we have china who's again become a force to reckon with now they are the second largest economy in the world right after united states they are the second largest economy so three countries which are not very far from us china japan korea i can go on malaysia singapore all these countries have outdone their potential have come out with world class innovations even a small country like israel again not very far from us have outdone themselves i think entrepreneurs of today we cannot be content indians cannot be content in being some really good chief executives of large corporations which have been founded by somebody else we take a lot of pride of course satya nadella we take a lot of pride sundar pichai we take a lot of pride shantanu narayan we take a lot of pride we keep saying see how indians have made it so big and we keep taking a lot of pride each and every day we hear about one more indian ceo indra nuyi and others who've been born and raised here but have made the united states or the west their home when they go there and achieve and accomplish something we take a lot of pride the question that we need to ask ourselves after we go home today how many world class indian products are there across the board board rooms drawing rooms and bedrooms in other parts of the world not a single one i'm sorry to say this i mean if you take tata land rover as a indian product then maybe yes but otherwise it's an acquisition land rover was acquired range rover was acquired by tata so therefore jaguar was acquired so therefore but otherwise not a single indian product in spite of us being the most populous country in the world prapanchal lone ati pedda desham bharat desham cheppalante chaala cheppochu idi chesam adi chesam ani prapanchaniki sunna andincham nijangane sunna andincham ఏం అందించాం మనం ఏం చేసామో సౌత్ కొరియా నుంచి ఇన్ని ప్రోడక్ట్స్ వస్తుంటే జపాన్ నుంచి అన్ని ప్రోడక్ట్స్ వస్తుంటే మనం ఏమో చిన్న చిన్న పనులు చేసి దానికే మురిసిపోయి ఇది చేసాము అది చేసాము మై హంబుల్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఎస్పెషలీ యంగ్ విమెన్ ఆంటర్ప్రినర్స్ హియర్ హు నౌ హ్యావ్ అనదర్ ఆపర్చునిటీ అనదర్ ఫెంటాస్టిక్ యునో వెరీ సూన్ ఇల్ హ్యావ్ అ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ టు ఎగ్జిబిట్ యువర్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ ఇల్ హ్యావ్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ టు కొలాబరేట్ మార్కెట్ యువర్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ టు కొలాబరేట్ ఐ హర్ ద సార్క్ you know representative speak you have some fantastic ecosystem and lot of you know uh, enablers here now the question is are we going to be content doing something in telangana for telangana are we going to be content doing something in india for india or are we going to come out with world class products and push the boundaries and aim for the moon because time has come now for india to take its rightful position in the world unfortunately whatever has happened over the last 7 75 years is not enough 
We are still only a 3 million, 3 trillion economy. Whereas China, which was the same size as us in 1987 in terms of an economy, has raised past us. Now they are 18 trillion economy. We are still a 3 trillion economy. They are almost 6 times bigger than us. My humble request to all the entrepreneurs is, like I said, there's no, there's no, there's been no better time in the history of independent India to be an entrepreneur. Earlier there was a time, I'm sure, Rama Devi Garu will relate. When she started her journey, I'm sure, about three decades ago, four decades ago, maybe 40 years industry, Anna Ragada. 40 years kindata, Rama Devi Garu journey started, I'm sure the obstacles were much, much higher. The entry barriers were much, much taller. Even now they are there. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that being an entrepreneur in India is easy. But it's, it's become easier than what it was a few decades ago. It's much more you know, easier to network, much more easier to connect, much more easier to exhibit, much more easier to reach the world now because technology has enabled us. Governments understand that business is important. Governments understand that wealth creation, employment creation is important. My humble request to all the entrepreneurs in this room. Santoshi was uh, showing off her uh, tractor. I think it's a tractor or a agri trencher. You have to forgive my ignorance. I have no idea what that is. But I'm sure it's a cool product. She was saying, I would like to expand. I'd like to you know, start a larger factory in 5 to 10 acres. No, I think that should be the ambition. Wanting to do something larger, not just for India. I think try to push the boundaries, do something for the world, expand your horizons and keep pushing the envelope. Don't be content to being a women entrepreneur. Give men a run for their money. Give men a run for their money. Make them feel insignificant. Make them, you know, feel that you're... You know, people keep saying, the women should make, you know, women should, uh, you know, feel no, no, no uh, you know, inferior or no less, no less than a man. I think, in fact, women are more strong in, in whatever sense, except physically, I think. I mean, even, I think there are a lot of women who can beat me up here. That's a different story. But you're strong in every, every, possible, every possible domain. You're stronger emotionally, in terms of balance, in terms of sense of what is right, what is wrong. So many things, so many attributes. My humble request is, government of Telangana has already created three women entrepreneurs' parks, including the one in Nandigama, which again, and, and, and the one in Gajula Ramaram, that Elip has created. We also have one more in Sultanpur. I think there's one more Ekada Dumkoti. Two Pran Lomkotundi. So all these are already available for you. If you want me to create one more, like Ramadevi Garu was asking. Unfortunately, Sultanpur, we've run out of land. I'm more than happy, Ramadevi Garu. Mirinda Gajaptunaru, Mahabur Nagarlo Panyas Nam Memu, Akadagoda, Chala Chakat Panyas Namu, Akadagoda Chalamandi, entrepreneurs, Thayar Jesse Praitan Jesna. Village level entrepreneurs, Gurinchkoda Mirakara. Village level entrepreneurs. Today, in fact, thanks to my previous governments, thanks to the people who worked before me, Telangana is one of those rare states and Andhra Pradesh is one of those rare states where women self-help groups are extremely strongly organized. Vela Kotla Rupai, Okka Telangana lo. Okka Telangana lo, Naku Telisi, Samatsarani ki, Padnalu Padihena, Vela Kotla Rupai lo disburse out in the women self-help groups ki. Bank linkage la rupan lo, aidi lakshalu, padi lakshalu, motto adi mepma dwara, adi vidanga serp dwara, society for elimination of rural poverty dwara. Heroju, wakka telangana lo, padna lo padi en, vela kot la rupai lo, mahila laki, disburse out on it. And zero interest on these. My humble request is, Madam Hyderabad, Leda Warangal, irendu patna lo, unna wale women entrepreneurs kadu. Baito gur chala mandunar, chala capable lunar, rural areas lo gur mira na rindak. Mehboob Nagar lo akda Konta mandi lambadi ammail to kada panjyas namo ST ammail to panjyas namo Chal chakka ka panjyas namo ranyo pere Naa request te intent te Telangana lo heroes me kallam undu Entrepreneurship is not just about technology As Santoshi has shown You can come out with manufacturing And this is in fact a manufacturing park Is what you were telling me just now Naa request te intent te me andar to kada Telangana lo heroes me kallam undu Aidura kala viplavalu Avishkarin se badutu nai Kutta sasya viplavam Sasya Viplava Mante Green Revolution. Any non-Telugu speakers here? Achha, there are some. <laughs> I'll have to translate now. Uh, a new Green Revolution is actually unfolding in Telangana as we speak. When the state began its journey, we were procuring about 68 lakh metric tons of paddy. 
as of last year we we procured 2 and a half crore metric tons of paddy second only to punjab that is how telangana has grown in terms of how agricultural expansion has happened also that is green revolution also telangana has 46000 lakes and tanks through a program called mission kakatiya in fact Ramadevika Ripresh was talking about aqua, fish rearing, fish culture. My humble request to all of you, 46,000 lakes and tanks and new reservoirs that have been created have made Telangana today the number one state in the country for inland fisheries. Blue revolution is what is unfolding in Telangana. And fish that I talk about or even other, you know, uh, seafood and other, sorry, freshwater food that can be cultivated in lakes and tanks is something that you should look at very, very closely. We have a fantastic policy, food processing policy that encourages you to do that. And there are a variety of fishes that can be consumed in Telangana, in India. And there is other variety that also can be grown here, raised here, reared here and exported to the world outside, West, the Europe, US, other parts of the world. The third revolution that's unfolding right in front of your eyes is actually pink revolution. Pink revolution is not that of my party, not that of my political party. Of course, that is also happening and that is we are going to win back and come back again and talk to you guys in the same room next year. That is also going to happen. But, pink revolution that's happening is also meat processing industry and how well that's shaping up. Meat processing is something that again is extremely important because as affluence grows, as wealth grows, what will happen is people start eating better, people start eating more, uh, you know, more food which is full of protein. As a result today, Telangana's livestock, in fact, because of a sheep rearing program that we have taken up, has doubled. And with the second lot that is being allotted now, I think Telangana will become the number one state in India in terms of livestock, which again gives you ample room to go into the meat processing industry, which is called Pink Revolution. The fourth revolution that's also unfolding here is White Revolution, which is nothing but dairy. Now, dairy in Telangana, the Vijaya Dairy, which is a government dairy, was actually in losses when we assumed office. Now today Vijaya Dairy gives us back 30 plus crores of dividend every year. They have turned around. And there is ample capacity. My, my request again to all of you, I'll just give you one example as to how important this white revolution is, milk production is. There's a company called Fonterra. It was earlier called New Zealand Dairy Board. It's a New Zealand company. This one single enterprise, one single company contributes to 8% of New Zealand's GDP. That's how important this amazing uh, uh, industry is, dairy industry is. Now dairy, when I say it's not just milk, everything that comes with it, there's butter, there's cheese, there's chocolates, there's so, much, so many things that you can do in the dairy industry. And again, today India, in fact, imports a lot of these from outside, from abroad. This is another very, very important area. And the fifth one I will tell you about is, you know, Today we import a lot of our edible oils. One ton unil. Dimaj jes kuntna. Telangana irojo ko kotha viplawanik sri karan chuttindi. Yellow revolution. Oil palm revolution. Irava ilakshal ekarallo Telangana lo oil palm panta pandin salani oka lakshanga bet kunam. Andulo ipur madar samatsro lakshal lakshya abe oil share kuntnam. Tapakunda idi peru tundi. Edible oil bite nunchi ekarne chhu Malaysia nunchi Indonesia nunchi dimaj jes kune dushtiti tapali. India lo ne ad pensal. In fact. India lo nalavai oka kotla ekarala saagu bhoomi undi. India lo debhai vela TMC le nil unnai. Inni petukuni kuda manam bite nunchi tindi rech kodam, bite nunchi ekan nunchi edo edo dhugma jes kodam ante sigu chet. Kabatte manam mukhya mantri garu, ii aidu rangal lo, ippu nene cheppi na, green revolution, blue revolution, pink revolution, white revolution and yellow revolution. Ii aidu inti ki telangana lo bijam badi indi, adbutanga telangana bharata desham motta nike, Waka ader sepraya mana rasrangga ini aidi rakaal wiplawal tu munduk bawa tahun. Indullo, indullo, mik awak asal cahalau nih. Adi nih jepturnu pon. Miri eng kawal ante eng cehal ante gula. Ini aidi ranggal lo. Ante ente sepu enterprise ante entrepreneurship ante Hyderabadu, Nandi Gama, Sultanpur kad. Mahbub negarundi, Nalgonda undi, Huzur negarundi, Surya Pet undi, Port ki dager manak landlocked state mano. Port way, port activities kawal ante Surya Pet jilla mottu undi, Nalgonda jilla mottu undi. Miru, Girijana Pranta lo Panjai lan kunte mulu gundi, Adila badundi, Asifa badundi, Badradri kotta gudam undi, inka chala jilla lo nai. Adve vidanga miku, inka itara, yenno jilla lo yenno kotta vanarul lo nai. Na request endente mi andar to gudam. Chala 
రేపు ఇన్ఫాక్ట్ రేపటి నుంచి మా ఫుడ్ కాంక్లేవ్ ప్రారంభం కాబోతా ఉంది తెలంగాణ ఇస్ రిచ్ ఇన్ వేరియస్ ఫుడ్స్ సోయా పండుతుంది ఆదిలాబాద్ లో ఈ మధ్యన ఆదిలాబాద్ లో ఒక రైతు ఆపిల్ పండించడం స్టార్ట్ చేశాడు ఆపిల్స్ ఆపిల్స్ విచ్ వి థింక్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ రైట్ ఆఫ్ హిమాచల్ మన దగ్గర పండిస్తున్నారు ఆదిలాబాద్ లో మన దగ్గర ఫిగ్స్ పండిస్తున్నారు ఖజూర్ అవి కూడా పండిస్తున్నారు నేనేమన్నా అంటే దయచేసి యూర్ ఓన్లీ దట్స్ వై కీప్ సింగ్ యూర్ ఓన్లీ లిమిటెడ్ బై యువర్ ఇమాజినేషన్ వాట్ క్యాన్ బి డన్ వాట్ షుడ్ బి డన్ ప్లీజ్ డోంట్ ఎయిమ్ స్మాల్ నేను మొన్న ఎవరో చెప్పారు నాకు మహిళల ఆంటర్ప్రినర్షిప్ అంటే పిపిపి అన్నారు పికిల్స్ పాపర్డ్స్ అండ్ ఇంకోటి ఏదో చెప్పారు దీప్తి పెట్టి కోట్స్ అన్నారు నేనేమంటున్నానంటే రాకెట్లు రాకెట్లు తయారు చేయడంలో కూడా మహిళలు రావాలి అంతరిక్షంలో కూడా రావాలి టెక్నాలజీలోకి రావాలి ఫుడ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్లోకి రావాలి అన్నింటిలోకి వస్తేనే ఓన్లీ వెన్ యూ స్టార్ట్ పుషింగ్ దీస్ ఆన్వెలప్స్ అండ్ పుషింగ్ ది రైట్ బటన్స్ యూ విల్ అచీవ్ ద సక్సెస్ దట్ యూ డిజర్వ్ మై హంబుల్ రిక్వెస్ట్ government will stand with you government will enable what you want to do but you will have to step up you will have to raise your game you will have to start thinking big and start expanding your horizons don't be content in getting msme support from government of india government of telangana mean chese edo konta konta mem chestam kani prapancha vyaptanga adbhutamaina peru sampainche products tayar cheyali ante matram passion tho ambition tho aggression tho pan cheste tappakunda meer anukunnavani avutai my you can take rama devi garu as an example she is very tenacious and she doesn't take no for an answer rama devi garu ni no an cheppadam kashtam she is always persuasive always chasing tappakunda vaar ni aadarshanga tisukunnatte aithe meer kuda definitely will achieve a lot of success and she is always very very always with a smile on her face she'll ask you very politely idi cheyandi idi cheyandi madam meer cheppine cheddam kan meer nenu cheppine kuda okati rendu cheyandi appudu appudu meer rural telangana రూరల్ తెలంగాణ అని ఒక సవాల్ గా తీసుకుందాం గ్రామీణ ప్రాంతాల్లో ఎందుకంటే అందరూ హైదరాబాద్ మీద వచ్చి పడితే మనం కూడా బెంగళూరు అవుతాం మరి మనం కూడా బెంగళూరు లాగా ఎప్పుడు ఎయిర్పోర్ట్ లో దిగితే ఎప్పుడు ఇంటికి పోతామో తెలియని పరిస్థితి కావాలంటే మనం కూడా అట్లా అయిపోతాం ఇప్పటికే కొద్ది కొద్దిగా అవుతున్నాం ఇన్ని ఫ్లై ఓవర్లు కట్టిన ముప్పై ఐదు ఫ్లై ఓవర్లు కట్టాం అయినా ట్రాఫిక్ తగ్గట్లేదు ఇంకా మెట్రో ఎక్స్పాండ్ చేస్తే తప్ప ఇంకోటి చేస్తే తప్ప పరిస్థితి మారేటట్టు కూడా లేదు అందుకే నేను మీతో కూడా అప్పీల్ చేస్తా ఉన్నా హైదరాబాద్ లో మన వాళ్ళు ఉన్న వాళ్ళు ఉన్నాం కానీ మిగతా వాళ్ళ కోసం ఎక్కడికక్కడ గ్రామీణ ప్రాంతాల్లో ఇండస్ట్రీలు మిగతా వాళ్ళకి ఎక్కడికక్కడ అవకాశాలు ఉపాధి అవకాశాలు కూడా వచ్చినట్టయితే మీకు మాకు మనందరికీ రాష్ట్రానికి దేశానికి లాభం మరొకసారి ఈ కార్యక్రమానికి నన్ను ఆహ్వానించినందుకు రమాదేవి గారికి అందరికి మిత్రులకు ధన్యవాదాలు జై తెలంగాణ జై భారత్ మన టీఎఫ్సి లైవ్ ఛానల్ కి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి అలాగే ఇందులో అప్లోడ్ చేసే ప్రతి వీడియోని లైక్ షేర్ ఇంకా కామెంట్ చేస్తూ ఉండండి అలాగే ఇక్కడ కనిపించే బెల్ ఐకాన్ ని ఇలా క్లిక్ చేస్తే చాలు టీఎఫ్సి లో అప్లోడ్ చేసే ప్రతి వీడియో అప్డేట్స్ మీ ఫలో వచ్చేస్తాయి హాయ్ అందరికి నమస్కారం నేను గీతా మాధురి లైక్ షేర్ అండ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు టీఎఫ్సిసి లైవ్ హాయ్ టీఎఫ్సిసి లైవ్ ఛానల్ ని లైక్ చేయండి షేర్ చేయండి సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి మీ మధుప్రియ హాయ్ ఎవరి యూట్యూబ్ లో సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేయండి వ్యూ చేయండి ఫాలో చేయండి ఫర్ ఆల్ న్యూస్ అబౌట్ తెలుగు ఫిల్మ్స్ టీఎఫ్సిసి లైవ్ డోంట్ ఫిగెట్ subscribe and like hi this is rashmi tagore please like comment share and subscribe tfcc like please subscribe to tfcc hi nenu mi saptagiri please hi and nenu mi kartike tfcc live channel ni like cheyandi share cheyandi subscribe chesukondi this is nikhil uh, tfcc channel ni encourage cheyandi like cheyandi sub- please subscribe tfcc tfcc channel like cheyandi share cheyandi hi please subscribe tfcc please do subscribe to tfcc live channel and uh, like share and subscribe cheyandi